Hello again, this is Steve with Nick Service out of Emerald Park, Saskatchewan. Today we're going to be talking about the remote support feature uh, that's available for the Viper 4 terminal uh, right from Raven. Uh, we're going to show you how to enable it, uh, what it looks like, and what it looks like uh, when you're being controlled by that uh, app. So this is uh, going to be used when you're having a problem um, and it's going to save a service call in that I'm going to be able to see, or anyone you enable this uh, and give the code to, is going to be able to see what's going on with the uh, monitor, make changes in real time. So the very first thing we're gonna need is an internet connection um, that can be over a hotspot, it can be on your Wi-Fi, whatever the case may be, as long as you have the Wi-Fi antenna uh, plugged into the back of the receiver and uh, or back of the terminal, and that's this little uh, antenna right here. As long as that's there, we're gonna have uh, the ability to connect to the Wi-Fi system. Uh, in order to enable that, we'll hit the little gear icon here for the nodes, go to the very last page, under networking and uh, you can see here we have uh, a list of available Wi-Fi networks nearby uh, we'll need to make sure that it's on client uh, instead of hotspot um, auto is used to connect the uh, Viper 4 terminal to an RS1 uh, receiver so that's the first thing we need is a solid internet connection the next thing we're gonna need to do is go to our administrator tab select system manager go into our slingshot tab and down here, you'll see it says uh, remote support and there'll be an icon uh, when you're connected to internet that pops up, it says request uh, remote support. So uh, this is the last step that you're gonna have to do. Uh, there's going to be an operator liability agreement, uh, which you'll have to agree to, to continue. And it's gonna spit out a service code there. This is when you uh, get on the phone with uh, me as a dealer uh, or anyone else who has a Slingshot account uh, that you know can help you out. And we're going to uh, input that into our computer. So this is the uh, number. This is what the screen's gonna look like on my end here. I'm gonna put in that uh, service code when you call me. And it's gonna launch a remote support session. I'm gonna make this full screen so it's a little bit easier to see. So right now, I'm able to control the screen on the Viper way over yonder right there from this screen so there is a little bit of a uh, lag in the system and that's just the connection speed so we can go in we can remotely create a job we can remotely change settings uh, set up a machine profile the only time that this isn't going to work is if there's a function that I need to uh, say reset the terminal um, or revert the terminal back to uh, a rig factory default, it will kick me out of that function there. Um, so come back here to the screen, you can see it's totally mirrored. Um, and uh, as I move that cursor around, uh, you'll be able to see a black cursor on the screen there. So it's gonna highlight and I can sort of show you remotely uh, what's going on with the terminal. Um, give you some guidance, um, check settings, make sure everything's up to date. It's, uh, it's a really nice feature that's going to uh, save a lot of service calls. Um, it is standard on uh, Viper terminals that were built after August of 2020. Um, if yours doesn't have that feature unlocked, um, it's a simple upgrade. Uh, just give us a call here at the dealership and uh, we'll be able to help you out with that. But that's sort of the gist of uh, how remote support works. Um, basics that you'll need to know is you'll need an internet connection, uh, something reliable, either a hotspot on your phone, uh, a Wi-Fi hub, whatever the case may be. Uh, and uh, you'll need to be able to get that service code. Um, you also have to have a, um, a Raven Slingshot account, uh, whether that be from a dealer, uh, a neighbor who has one that can help you out, uh, whoever you wanna give that service code to, uh, they'll be able to remote into your, uh, into your terminal for that session. So that's sort of an overview of it. If you have any questions, uh, give us a call here at the dealership uh, or leave a comment below. Uh, if you like this video, found it helpful, uh, give us a thumbs up. Thanks.